In other news now, and senior members of Sri Lanka's Rajapaksa clan have announced their decision not to contest the upcoming 2024 general elections in Sri Lanka. Given the family's long-standing influence in Lankan politics, the announcement by the former presidents Mahinda and Gotabaya, along with the former MPs Basil and Chamal Rajapaksa, marks a significant shift in the island nation's political landscape. Mahinda Rajapaksa, who served as president from 2005 to 2015, is credited with ending the civil war but faced criticism later for authoritarian policies. Godabaya Rajapaksa, his younger brother, served as president from 2019 until his resignation in 2022, amid widespread protests triggered by the country's severe economic crisis. The 2022 economic crisis was marked by crippling shortages of essential goods, skyrocketing inflation and widespread discontent over mismanagement and corruption. This turmoil led to mass protests resulting in Gotabaya's resignation and fleeing the country as well. Gotabaya was the first such leader to flee the country, significantly diminishing the Rajapaksa family's political capital. Basil Rajapaksa, a key figure in Sri Lankan politics, is the younger brother of the former presidents Mahinda and Gotabaya. He served as the Minister of Finance and later as the Minister for Economic Policies and Plan Implementation in his brother's government. Known for his role in shaping economic policy, Basil was influential in promoting infrastructure projects and social welfare programs. Despite his contribution, he faced criticism for his handling of the economy, especially during the crisis in 2022. Now, as the senior Rajapaksa clan steps back, former minister Namal Rajapaksa, son of Mahinda Rajapaksa, will take the helm of the Sri Lankan SLPP party and its campaign as a national list nominee. The general elections are set for November 14th. It will be crucial to see how the SLPP navigates the challenging political terrain in the wake of a Anura Desanayake led government and the family's declining popularity. And our correspondent Dasani has sent us this report from Colombo. With accepting of nominations ending today here in Sri Lanka, it is quite clear that With accepting of nominations ending today here in Sri Lanka, it is quite clear that the upcoming general election is sure to see a majority of new faces taking up the 225 seats in Parliament. This is a testament to the people's will and their sentiment, which has been growing since the economic crisis in 2022, where a majority of the citizens did feel that many of these politicians who have been in politics for decades were more interested in their own political gain rather than the betterment of the country. This is why many politicians, including that of former President Rani Vikramasinghe, as well as the Rajapaksas, have made it a calculated move to sit out of this parliamentary polls. Reporting for We On World is one from Colombo. I'm Dasunya Tauda. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.